Hello friends, uh, welcome back again. Uh, today uh, we are going to uh, discuss about PN junction devices or the concept of PN junction. Now in my earlier videos we read about the introductory topics like semiconductor physics where we studied about uh, the definition of semiconductors, the classification of semiconductors, uh, intrinsic and extrinsic, then the classification of extrinsic semiconductors such as P and N type semiconductors. Today we are going to learn how the P type and N type semiconductors can be uh, both of them combinedly used to form a device or to form PN junction. So let's get started. Now, what is a PN junction and why is it so important in the field of electronics? Now, a PN junction is a contact between P type material and an N type material. That's saying roughly. Uh, in the formally, we can define it as when a p-type semiconductor is suitably joined to a n-type semiconductor, the contact surface, the contact surface between the two, is called as the p-n junction. Now here we have is the figure of a PN junction, this is the diagram. This is the P-type end or the P-type material, this much. Uh, this is the edge or the boundary of the P-type material and this one is the N-type material. Uh, here the figure is a bit asymmetric but both of them are more or less symmetric in reality. Now this is the p-type material and this is the n-type material. These two materials are suitably joined together. Now this junction, this is the junction which is formed. This is called as a p-n junction device or a p-n junction. Now let us discuss some uh, properties of PN junction. Now the first property of PN junction is that that when the PN junction is uh, formed or when the two materials are joined together, at that instant the electrons, these are the electrons from the n-type region diffuse into the p type region they move like this just showing they diffuse into the p type region and combine with the holes these are the holes in the p type region now we know that when a substance loses electrons, it acquires a positive charge. So as a result of it, the n-type, the n-type material acquires a layer of positive charge at its edge. Now as the electrons diffuse into the p-type material and combine with the holes in the p-type region, the p-type material, it gains excess electrons and loses its neutrality as well. So it acquires a layer of negative charge along the edge or along its uh, outer edge. So here we notice that there is a layer of opposite charges created near the junction, this junction. This induces 
an electric field from positive to negative direction now this electric field generates an electric potential this electric potential which is generated due to the accumulation of opposite charges near the junction is called as the barrier voltage or the barrier potential and uh, as the electron hole recombination occurs near the junction the area immediate to the junction near both the p type and the n type materials gets uh, depleted or loses its charge carriers the p type material loses its holes due to the combination with the electrons and as the electrons near the junction diffuse to recombine with the holes this n type region loses its electrons so this entire area gets depleted of any type of charge carriers both electrons and holes and that's why this area this this rectangle is called as the depletion layer now this is the width of the depletion layer so an electric potential is generated from positive to negative direction now <clears throat> so i discussed almost uh, all these properties that i have said now <clears throat> once that uh, barrier potential once that uh, barrier potential is formed which is called as vb as uh, i uh, shown it to you earlier in the diagram that barrier potential stops further diffusion of electrons from the n type material to the p type material let me show you again here you see this is the direction of the electric field now this barrier potential stops further movement of electrons or further diffusion of electrons so as a result of this barrier potential there is no current flow in the pn junction when there is zero external voltage applied across the pn junction so this barrier potential is generally about uh, 0.7 volt sorry for the picture quality it is because of the auto adjust feature now <laughs> uh, this barrier potential is generally about 0.7 volt for silicon and uh, 0.3 volt for germanium now it is because of this uh, barrier potential as the positive and negative charges sorry uh again okay this positive layer of positive charge and this layer of negative charge which gives rise to the barrier potential it stops the further influx of electrons or diffusion of electrons from n into the p region so as a result because of the lack of mobility of electrons in the junction or in the pn junction there is no current flow in the pn junction so here it is we have discussed about uh, the basic concept and definition of a pn junction and 
the process uh, involved which is the mechanism involved in the fabrication of pn junction and uh, the development of the barrier potential and the depletion layer uh thank you very much